Hello, hello, and welcome once again, J76NY here, and we are on episode number two of our British campaign on Ultimate Admiral, Age of Sail. Uh, we won our first battle, and now we are apparently building up our fleet. So we have the HMS Ferret, that's my ship. Uh, we have the HMS Alert, that is also uh, one of the ships in my fleet, and this troop ship here. We've also got these two ships that we captured, so we can either send them to the Admiralty or add them to the fleet. Um, it costs me to send them to the Admiralty and add them to the fleet, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to send uh, one of them to the Admiralty, and then I'm going to add this to the fleet. Okay, so we're, we've repaired the ship. Let's uh, assign an officer to our flagship here. We have some sub-lieutenants and some midshipmen and cadets to choose from. So we are going to go with sub-lieutenant Jeremiah Hinton. Okay, so we now have a sub-lieutenant. I guess that's my uh, first officer. Our crew is at 110. We can add more crew, although it does cost to add them. I'm going to go with 150 crew on my flagship. I think we can upgrade our uh, weapons, too. Sea Service 38 musket is what we have. Um... Looks like the uh, musket and bayonet is a little better on the melee, but uh, for right now I'm going to keep the guns the same as what we have. Okay, so we have to go to the ferret, or the uh, alert. The alert needs a captain. So we're going to assign Clement Redmond as captain of the alert. Still says it needs a captain. There we go. Uh, then we're going to add... See how much it costs us to add... Well, I guess we can only have 90 crew, so... I'm going to add 90 crew to that. This, uh... Who's this guy? He's a midshipman. This is a troop ship. Uh, we could add soldiers to see how much it costs us to br what's the max 320 we'll go with uh, 200 200 fusiliers overload uh oh oh I guess well, okay. I guess the, uh, we'll go with 150. That's kind of cool that adding, uh, troops increases the weight of the ship, which makes it too heavy. So there we now we have 150 and 200 fusiliers. And then the Mercedes needs a crew, so we have to assign an officer. Um, I don't really want to put a midshipman in charge of this. So we have to go to the Admiralty officers. Let's hire the top of the line second lieutenant, Lewis Dawson. So we'll hire him. We can actually buy ships, too. Although I don't know if I want to spend the money on another ship right now. I'm going to hold off on buying any more ships. Um, we do have our choice of naval weaponry. We can buy and land weapons. 
Oh, we got mortars. That's kind of cool. Uh, sea Service 38, Trade Musket 22. Um, so let's go back to this. And assign... Where do you go? Did I not hire him? There he is, right there. So he's in the reserves. Okay, so let's assign the officer. Won't let me get into the reserves for some reason. So I guess it's going to be a midshipman. We'll just assign two midshipmen to them. What's this little thing? So the optimal crew for this is about 130. That's what we'll go with. Not enough weapons. Okay. There we go. Okay, so now we have a crew for all of our ships. We have a land force, uh, which we might or might not need. I'm not really sure how that works, but... We've got the map. What's the next stage here? Dinner for Admiral. This is the research. We'll research that. Now we're almost broke. So let's go back to our fleet. We can upgrade our, our ships here, but it's going to cost us. Um, lightweight gun carriages, we'll go with that for our flagship. And I think that's about all we can do because we're pretty broke right now. So to the map we go. That's this dinner for Admiral. I wonder what happens if I click uh, next stage. Hmm. Pretty sure I could go back to this and try it. Uh, the Spanish have taken advantage of our overstretched forces and have captured the crucial supply ship, HMS Walpole. Fortunately, the enemy were not expecting such a swift response, and the vessel is only escorted by a pair of ships. Head on attack. No peril, no glory. Let's play it. Dinner for Admiral. See how we do. Okay, so... HMS Ferret, and we'll go with the, we'll go with the Mercedes. All right, so the mechanics are similar to um, Ultimate General, apparently. Let's see what we have here. The Santa Rita. We have arrived in the designated area without any trouble. It's our merchantman, the Walpole, under a Spanish flag along with a small escort. They are attempting to reach the cover of the guns at the nearby outpost. We are moving to intercept them under full sail. The enemy is screening the merchantmen to allow it to escape. We must take her back. Okay. All right, well, here we go. Let's uh, turn into them. 
like this. I'm gonna make a beeline for the the merchantman and try and take her. Got the wind coming from this direction. There's the wall pole over there. Okay, the mer the uh, wall pole. What we want to do is kind of cut them off so they can't get back. firing on the San Juan Bautista, but we're taking fire from two of these ships. Okay, let's turn you this way and switch your fire to uh, the Santa Rita. Okay, they're firing on the uh, Bautista as well. Let's head over here, slow down a little bit, please. Pull up alongside her and try and retake the ship. Okay, ferret. Alright, what I want you to do is try and wreck their sails. As you turn, we'll switch fire. There we go. Did quite a bit of damage there. I think we came, uh, slowed down just a little too much here. Okay, turn around. really cool how you can see the uh, the crew running about the deck there oh we're still firing on this one fire on him instead okay match the speed Target must already be selected. All right, I want you to turn, keep firing. Yeah, hey, where are you going? Let's try and, uh, try and board her now. As the ferret holds off, uh, these two ships here. Switch our fire. See if we can cut them off. This one looks like they're pretty messed up. How we doing over here? Where'd you go? There you are. I think we're uh, in the process of boarding. All right, we are boarding the wall pole now. So we'll send you over to the wall pole. Let's say Walpole surrendered. Okay. So now what do we do? There we go. 
<clears throat> so we do have the wall pole back in our um, possession. We're hitting the uh, Batista pretty hard here. Now we don't want them to get in range of those cannons. More importantly, we don't want us to get in range of those cannons. Let's switch to fire on their crew. Slow down. Okay, let's join the fight. <clears throat> Get the Mercedes over there and the wall pole. Wow, we're taking uh, taking some heavy hits here. Let's switch our fire. Bump up our speed. Come around before we get too damaged here. Kind of curious what the uh, what the victory conditions are for this here. Okay, let's check the Mercedes. Mercedes is coming in. Have you turn and then sweep around like this, although they are coming right at us. So we'll have you turn around. Okay, wall pole. and kill as many of their crew as we can. Wall pole looks kind of dead in the water here. Steaming right into the... right into the wind. It's like the ferret is uh, taking some serious damage. Might not be good. Maybe we gotta leave with the wall pole. <laughs> Let's try that. Gotta try and keep them from uh, retaking the, uh, the wall pole here. Let's just send them off. Run with the wind. Let's try and kill as many, kill some crew here.
Looks like the uh, Batista is in pretty rough shape. At least one must be destroy, capture, capture the wall pole, eliminate, eliminate enemy fleet. So capture the Santa Rita. I guess that's an option we could try. Let's uh, slow down a little bit or uh, match their speed. Slow down. Let's try and capture the Santa Rita here. Coming at you from bro both sides, man. Let's do something about the uh, Batista here. Oh, it looks like we got him from both sides. Probably not a good place for the uh, HMS Ferret to be in. Hopefully we don't uh, incur... Alright, Santa Rita is surrendered. So we will send our sub-lieutenant over to take over the Santa Rita. Get out of here with the Santa Rita. Maybe we could try and capture them too. Like they're done. San Juan Bautista has surrendered. Or did we capture both of them? So we can finish finish the mission right now. Apparently. And I think I will. We got a victory here. Lost 45 crew, they lost 123. Okay. So both of these guys were prom promoted to full lieutenants, which is a good thing. Uh, captured the Walpo, captured the San Juan Batista, and the Santa Rita. Light damage on the Mercedes, medium damage on the ferret and added two more ships to our inventory there we go so both of our ships need repair uh, it's probably going to be pretty expensive well repair cost 94 it's not too bad I guess let's repair 
997 on the ferret, so we got to spend that. We've got two trophy ships. Let's see what they're... Uh... Unrated cutter and an unrated cutter. I think I'm going to do the same thing. Send one to the Admiralty. And keep one for myself. Repair it. Now we need a crew and we need an officer. Where, where can I find an officer? Felix Racicot. There we go. Now you have an officer. Um, crew. We'll go with a crew of 50 for now. San Juan Batista. We could uh, rename all of these, I guess. Mercedes. So we'll rename you the Asia. M S We'll go with Victoria. Why not? HMS Victoria. Unrated cutter. There you go. Alright, so our second battle was fairly successful. Um, what do we have to do now? We've got dinner for Admiral that was accomplished. We've got an award. Medal of Victory is awarded to those serving His Majesty's Armed Forces who have distinguished themselves in times of war. Okay. Cool. Uh, food, fresh bread, sweet fruits, rum. I'll write about this day later. I'm headed to a lavish dinner. Personal notes. Okay, so I guess that's just a battle report. We have been informed that His Majesty's ship Richmond, a 32-gun frigate, saw action against the Spanish small frigates Gala, Galga, and Mercedes. Uh, this is the report from our last battle, I'm assuming. So now what do we do? We move on to the next, the next stage, apparently. So we're going to see what the next stage offers. What's this here? Oh, we got uh, some land battles. Priority. Snakes and powder. That's that. Saturday, 15 April, 1780. Or 12th April. So we'll uh, probably be doing this one f first. Uh, HMS Walpole is carrying vital supplies for our battered fleet docked at Belize. Without these supplies, we will be reduced to quarter rations. The Spanish are aware of our desperate supply situation. Uh, with our main fleet being repaired, the Spanish have an overwhelming advantage. Our only hope is to avoid them, and thankfully frequent squalls have kept us hidden so far. If you have the misfortune to encounter the enemy, your only hope will be to delay them long enough for the Walpole to escape to safety and then retreat with your remaining ships. So that's going to be our next mission for our next episode. Uh, successfully rescued the Walpole. If you like the episode, hit that like button. It will help the channel and the series out. Uh, leave your thoughts, tips, and advice in the comments below. I will take uh, all advice to heart because I really am just learning this game now as I go, as usual. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. You be the judge. Anyway, if you want to follow along with the rest of the campaign in Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail, as we pretend we are Horatio Nelson, saving the British Empire from all kinds of uh, calamities, hit the subscribe button. You can come with us. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good night.